Today, we're going to be talking about questioning the truth. When was the first time you really started questioning the status quo? Stay tuned for more. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about, again, just questioning the truth. When was the first time that you guys really started questioning the truth? Was it the first time you saw the Matrix? Was it the first time that you discovered that there was no uh, weapons of mass destruction in Iraq? Was it WikiLeaks? What was it? What was the final straw that hit, that broke the camel's back for you? Now, for me personally, I've always been questioning the truth since I was a little kid. Literally, literally, literally. Yeah, down here. Okay. Why? Well, basically because of my dad. My dad taught me from a very, very young age to not take everything verbatim, to always question everything, and then question it some more. And then if you're not sure, question it a little bit more. And to never, and if someone ever says, I'm an expert, I know everything, this is the way it is, then you gotta really, really, really question that, okay? Now, that's how I was raised, that's how I grew up, and as the years went on, well, you know, it only got uh, more fiercer and only got stronger, my desire to constantly question and to go against the status quo. Now, a quick, a, a, a quick, <laughs> a quick little history on my background, I grew up in the 80s and in the 90s. I was part of the counter culture, counter revolutionary, uh, part of the grunge culture. If you guys are from my era, you guys know that back then, we were all supposed to be revolutionaries. We Generation X was all about changing the, the future. We were all like um, fully geared up, you know, to take on the future. Our parents and our other, you know, uh, grandparents and other generations past <laughs> fucked it up for us and it was our job, Generation X, to fix it all. And what did we do? We didn't fix jack shit. In fact, the complete opposite happened. What we did was make things 10 billion times worse because we were literally the generation of procrastination. You know, I mean, you know, this is the reality of it. And on top of that, our kids were the millennials. By the way, I don't have any kids, but everyone around my age, for the most part, if you do have kids, your kids are millennials for obvious reasons. But now, by the way, this is not a knock on millennials. You know, I know plenty of millennials, lots of millennials, which are just as hardworking as you know the older generations but as you guys know millennials nowadays actually get uh, a bad rap for being you know not just lazy but being um, entitled and being whiny and being well you already know I don't got to tell you guys everything about what the millennials are um, delegate relegated as uh, right now but the, today's you know today's video is really asking the question when did you guys start waking up when did you guys start questioning the status quo now even though i was uh, raised to not believe everything i hear and to question everything it still took me a while for me to really really wake up and for me to really realize what the hell is going on and go against the system like the way i am right now when i was younger i was a very i, I was already very weary wary whatever of the government and of the powers that be and i was already you know back then even though i was supposed to be a doctor and a, or a lawyer or a politician you know all of these you know societal norms i knew that that's not the path that i wanted i knew that that was already slavery without even knowing exactly why it was slavery that's why i ended up in the kitchen and being a chef for a good majority of my life and i lived that life of being a renegade and being an outsider and all that stuff I really never understood why I just always thought that I was a little different. But the reality was, as I got older, I realized that I just didn't like to be told what to do. Now, I know most people don't like to be told what to do, but some people actually, like me, you know, take that verbatim and, and you know, and, and make a life out of that. So, for example, I didn't like to be told what to do, so I never put myself in a position where I was constantly being told what to do. All right. I made. I, not only did I pick a career in which I got to have you know full sovereignty for the most part, but I was you know if I was good enough, which I ended up being good, pretty good. Um, I was a, the leader. I was the one where people were taking orders from me, and uh, 
you know, again, I'm not just, I'm not trying to fucking sit here and uh, toot my own horn or anything like that. Um, I consider myself a really, really good leader because, I, I, you know, I lead by example and I like to teach more than anything else and so on and so forth. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the first time that we really started waking up. For me, it didn't really start until I, I think I was around the, you know, 30, 31 years old. And I started to realize that even though I picked the job as a chef and I was all, you know, renegade and I'm my own and I'm not taking orders from nobody, well, guess what? I still had to take orders from people. I still had, you know, a boss over me. I still had to follow rules and regulations. I still had all this litany of things in which, you know, uh, was keeping me from being truly free. And it was a constant frustration. And uh, eventually I decided to go into entrepreneurship and you know so on and so forth you know as I was able to have more free time available I was able to educate myself more and then eventually start going down the rabbit hole whether it was uh, you know looking at the matrix or looking at YouTube videos or again just educating yourselves by reading books just reading more on what makes the world tick what's you know um, things you know learning about monetary um, the, you know the monetary um, history of our world of our planet of our world of, of everything you know knowing more about the history of our planet of what's really going on right now and so on and so forth and the deeper I started going down this rabbit hole the more I started questioning again I was always already questioning everything but then I just kept on questioning more and more and more and I really do think what allowed me for me to really go down this path was yeah, you, you guessed it. It was the internet. It was YouTube. All right. Basically, it was the internet, and then YouTube, you know, just added that cherry on top. And I think that goes for a lot of us out here. And then once we started, you know, going down this rabbit hole and we really started questioning things, you know, we started slowly but surely pulling away from our societal norms, you know, from what society and what the status quo says is what we need to do, and started really pulling towards what we deem is what we should be, are supposed to be doing. Instead of following society's uh, rules and regulations, we started realizing that we can create our own rules and re regulations for our own lives and then go down that route, which I think right now most of us are on. I really do think as each day is going on, more and more of us are becoming awake more and more of us are questioning things more on a regular basis. Less of us believe the status quo. Less of us believe what we are being told. And we are more skeptical as each day goes on. On top of all that, we are now flooded with so much more information so that we can actually go down these rabbit holes and educate ourselves correctly and, um, and really start questioning things in the right manner. Because again, guys, one of the main one of the main problems that we actually have right now with uh, taking the red pill or getting woke or whatever it is is the fact that yeah sure you're not believing this set of societal norms anymore but then you know we start gravitating towards another set of rules and societal norms which is you know a lot of times it's just following the herd following the sheep following the popular opinion and so on and so forth and the main thing that we all got to keep in mind as we're all getting awake throughout you know this whole process is that we need to constantly keep our ears our and our eyes open and our our spirit our heart everything has to be open and we need to look at every single angle of every single topic so that we can be making we can make our own informed decision we need to take the power back of knowledge we need to take the power back of thinking right now most of us are are used to you know being told how to think being told what to believe in and now as you know most of us are transitioning from being told what to think and do into forming your own opinion and forming your own set of values and so on and so forth you know a lot of people are having trouble in this transition because most people they got to unlearn what they have been taught and then relearn all of these new ideas and skills and thoughts and then make sense of all this stuff and then depending on who you are it, it might be easier for you and some people are a lot harder so for example sometimes when I talk to my aunt out there it's a lot harder for her with her age 
um, you know, for her to accept this change, you know? For her, it's a lot easier to just accept things as they are and just hope for the best. For a lot of you guys out there that are extremely young, that are probably still in high school, and most likely are not even watching this video, for you guys, it's a lot easier to create your own thoughts, create your own um, value system, to create your own everything. You know, think on your own. And why is that? Well, because you are born in an era where, first of all, you don't believe anything. In fact, you know, you believe that everything is a lie. And then on top of that, then now you guys are re-educating yourself. You guys are educating yourselves from the very beginning in, in, in so many topics. And then you guys are, you know, having a plethora of knowledge from, from which to make a decision from. For you, for you guys, you know, to literally, you know, construct an actual thought, an actual, um, yeah, an actual thought that can be, you know, processed and uh, and really, you know, um, used, you know, for um, the betterment of yourself and others. Unfortunately, what happens nowadays from to most of us and most of society is again we're just following what we have been told forever. And now all of a sudden, you know, we're transitioning into this period in which no one is believing anything and a lot of people are having very, you know, a lot of difficulty with that. So it is, you know, why I'm making this video is because I want to start asking the question because I want to know more about you guys. I really want to know when was it that you guys started waking up? Have you guys even started waking up? How woke are you? Are you a conspiracy theory guy that hasn't believed that hasn't believed a damn thing that the government's been telling you for the last 30 or 40 years or did you just start questioning things a couple days ago I want to know more about you and not just know more about you but again I want to know what made you really start questioning the government and start questioning the status quo and start questioning all of these things that you know they tell us is the right way to do it Look, for me, it was basically when I came um, across the idea of what everyone in society always tell you. So this is the societal quote. Society is always telling you to be yourself, to follow your dreams, to do what you want to do, to do what makes you happy, to do, you know, uh, make your life as full as possible. But guess what? The minute that you actually start following your dreams, the minute that you start actually um, following your heart, the minute that you actually start, you know, pursuing what you really want to do and doing you, then what does society tell you? Society starts telling you, hey, what are you doing? Why are you not acting like everybody else? Why are you doing X, Y, and Z? Why are you being an individual? Why are you not following orders? Why are you not following the status quo? Why are you so different? So right off the bat, you know what I mean? Like we are being told these two conflicting things. But for me anyway, that's when I started to realize things. It was very, very early on that, you know, when I started becoming a chef, you know, when I started going down the career path of becoming a chef, everyone was asking me, why are you doing this? Why are you not being a doctor? Why are you not being a lawyer? Why are you not pursuing an, an academic career? And I would just tell them, well, because that's not what I want to do. I, I, I would be tortured and be... Um, yeah, literally tortured every single day if I had to live that life. To me, you know, living the life of uh, being in a kitchen and being a renegade and just living that crazy life of an artist, that to me is what what seemed more appealing than anything else. And so therefore, that's what I, why I followed that path. But as I followed that path, I would constantly be, you know, hearing from all the people around me, my family my loved ones, my friends, my everyone. Why are you doing this? Why did you pick that career? Why, it, whatever. And then when I would tell them, well, because it's fun. Well, because I like it. Well, because it satisfies me. Well, because I have a sense of accomplishment. Well, because X, Y, Z. No one could understand that. Because the only thing that people ever understood was what, what society would tell you, which was how much money you got in the bank. And sure, as a chef, living the life I wanted to live, money wasn't necessarily the thing that I was chasing. I was chasing more of freedom, you know, freedom, you know, the, the life. And that's why I, you know, went down that path. 
But as I kept on going in my chef career, I realized that no matter what you choose, if you choose to work for any kind of corporate structure, eventually all that's going to come to a head. And um, I realized, you know, the hard way that I was just a pure artist, that I, I didn't want to be, you know, taking orders from anybody except my damn self. And as I was following my dreams, that's when I started realizing like, oh, wait a minute, everything is wrong. Everything. And that's what got me to start questioning everything. As I got older and as I started, you know, going through the motions, then I really started questioning everything until the point where, well, I stopped believing anything or anyone and I started really just enclosing myself and thinking that, hey, no one is, is uh, nothing and no one is real and I don't even know what to believe anymore. And that did not end well, you know? That was also like a scary point, which I'm sure some of you guys have already traversed or are gonna get to at some point. And then you gotta get yourself out of that. And once you get yourself out of that, then, and how do you get yourself out of that? With knowledge, by continuously reading and watching videos and um, educating yourselves and, you know, doing everything humanly possible to, you know, again, educate yourself because society has done a horrible job of educating us. Well, society has done an amazing job in educating the public into how they want to be educated. But how we are supposed to be educated, again, horrible job, you know, because as we're all slowly, you know, discovering and figuring out is the fact that nothing is, nothing is believable anymore. And no matter what you're looking at, whether you're looking at archaeological findings that all of a sudden we're discovering that nothing that we have been told about our past, about our real, you know, past archaeological past is true. And the fact that new archaeologists are discovering the truth and they are being shunned, you know, that's, you know, starts making you question things. Um, whether it's not believing in the government, whether it's not believing in the economic system anymore, whether it's, it doesn't matter. All of us are being forced to question everything. Some of us, you know, have gone down this rabbit hole uh, deeper than others. Some of us are just looking at the hole from far. Some of us have made it all the way to the bottom of the hole and made their way out and so on and so forth. We're all at different levels. It all takes, it, it, we all get there at different speeds and at different points in our lives, but eventually I think most of us will get there. And that's the thing, you know, um, especially in a time like this in human history, Right now, we're living like we were during uh, 500 years ago when everybody was pushing back against the Catholic Church and people were questioning why the hell they were blindly following these Catholics, these Christians, you know, like lemmings to oblivion when, you know, again, you know, the, when they were, you know, they were being told one thing and then they were, you know, they were seeing another thing. And so eventually people started questioning. This guy Martin Luther came out. He started printing the Bible, started giving everybody information and telling everybody the truth. And before you knew it, people were out in the streets with pitchforks saying, how the fuck did you guys lie to us for so long? And that's where we are right now too. We're at a point in human history where everyone's starting to wake the fuck up, okay? Pretty much simultaneously around the world, no matter what you think, no matter what part of the world you're in. And uh, people are starting to push back, literally. You know, whether it's pushing back against the government, pushing back against, you know, uh, the banks, pushing back against the status quo, pushing back, okay? And uh, it's a beautiful time to be alive. It really is. I talk about that all the time. I say that all the time. That should be a quote. It's a, it's a, a Jose quote, right? It's a beautiful time to be alive. But I really do think it is. I really do believe it is. We're living right now during another enlightenment period. We are all starting to see the light and starting to get enlightened and really see the truth and starting to question more and act even more upon our knowledge. So again, I ask you one last time. When was the last, when was the first time that you guys woke up? When was the first time that you realized that something is really wrong and that this is not the way it's supposed to be and that you were gonna start looking a little bit deeper into what the hell is going on here. When was your day? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. 
It's been amazing. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons out there. I want to give a shout out to every single one of you guys. You know, the new patrons, the old patrons. I want to give a shout out to every single one of uh, you guys out there donating to me and Lambo. Shout out to all the people out there that are always giving me those thumbs ups. All of you guys that are always leaving comments. All of you guys out there today that are going to be leaving me comments. And uh, yeah, just a big shout out to all of you guys. I love you guys. Don't forget to check out the discord don't forget to check out me check me out on social media and uh last but not least don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and uh most importantly than anything else don't forget to stay awesome hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i really hope to interact with you guys in the comments so we can talk a little bit more about this because hey i think this is an amazing subject that we should all talk about more um because I, again i feel like we're all waking up together and right now hey you know this this could be our version of um of uh of a, of a self-help group or uh what is it like um What's it called? Uh, like uh, an Alcoholics Anonymous or something? How about a Society Anonymous? Is it so uh, you know, getting over Society is Anonymous or something? What is it? Waking Up Anonymous. So yeah, you know what I mean? Let's start that, okay? Because I feel like there's more, okay? More of you guys out there than I even care to even imagine, all right? And um, I know a lot of you guys watch, 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 but never really comment much because you're afraid of what the repercussions could be. So please, if you guys are already waking up and you guys are already deep in the process, let's take this, take it to the next level. Leave a comment below. Let's keep this, let's keep this conversation going and let's keep talking about this because guys, this is only getting started and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, thanks again for being here and I'll see you guys, you already guessed it, tomorrow. Peace.